I'm glad to be taking part in this forthcoming conference at uh, Richfield Cathedral, about Israel, Palestine. Um, the fact is it's coming between the two most important days of the Jewish calendar, the New Year and the Day of Atonement. That is a sign of how importantly I do take the conference that I'm willing to give up time when I should be maybe meditating about my sins and repenting of them. Uh, the reason why I think it's important is because the church is understandably highly concerned and interested about the situation in the Middle East, particularly with regards to Israel and Palestine. My worry is that in recent times, there has been a tendency to veer towards anti-Semitism rather than just anti-Zionism. Uh, I'm a fairly vocal critic and have been of Zionism and the way the Israeli government has treated its um, Palestinian neighbors. But it seems to me that of recent years, due in part to the obduracy of the Israeli government, I acknowledge that, but due in part to that, uh, the discourse has veered slightly towards something unpleasanter, which can be defined in certain instances as anti-Semitism. So I hope that this forthcoming conference will be able to rectify the balance somewhat and enable us genuinely, concernedly, sincerely, and with a strong sense of justice to decide what would be in the best interests of both the Israeli people and the Palestinian people as they try to resolve this ongoing and very bitter conflict. Hi, I'm Hannah Khalil. Um, and I'm really pleased that Litchfield is doing this Holding Palestine in the Light conference. I think it's a really important uh, event. Um, I think it's really important that we understand the context of the situation in Palestine um, now. I think it's very easy to get bogged down in what's in on what's in the news at any one point, and that that can be very misleading. And um, also. Often the news tries to be balanced and actually it's not an entirely balanced situation and it's only by understanding the history and the context do we fully understand where we are now. So I think um, an event like this where we can come together and talk about things and really try and sort of uh, understand how we got to where we are, that's when we're going to be able to kind of start to think about how we can move forward. My name is Vincent Fien and I'll be speaking at the conference at Litchfield Cathedral on the 8th of October. I was UK Consul General in Jerusalem from 2010 to 2014. My job was talking to Palestinians about peace and how to get there, and promoting British interests with the Palestinian people. When I left, the situation of the Palestinians in Gaza, the West Bank and East Jerusalem was worse than when I arrived. So, holding Palestine in the light is essential. It's essential and it's not happening enough. Leaving this issue to Israel and the Palestinians to resolve is not the answer. The international community, which ultimately means us, need to take a hand, a helping hand, and speak truth to power. And the power lies currently with the occupying power. The only way in which the children of Israel will live in security, which I seek, is for the children of Palestine to have a state of their own in Gaza, the West Bank and East Jerusalem and to have a future in which they can invest for their children. So I hope Litchfield will be a milestone 
along that road. I fear that if we don't achieve that two-state solution together, a one-state outcome will do no good to either people. So I look forward to Litchfield, and I hope. Hello, this is Professor Kamil Hawash. I'm honored to be speaking at the Holding Palestine in the Light Conference 7th to the uh, 9th of October, uh, which will take place in Litchfield on the auspices of the cathedral there. It brings together people with uh, a deep understanding of both the current situation and also the historical context that brought us to where we are. I hope to play my part in examining how we might move forward to a peaceful resolution that is based on international law and based on justice. Uh, I also would be very interested to hear the comments from the other speakers. In terms of uh, the, the host in this particular case, that's also significant because uh, with Litchfield Cathedral playing such a major role in bring the, bringing this conference together, it shows that finding a just solution to this conflict is of interest to such a wide spectrum of people. It cuts across not only political uh, uh, parties and political affili affiliations, but also religious ones. Jews, Muslims and Christians and non-believers all want to see a peaceful resolution to this uh, conflict. So if you would like to come and hear uh, speakers who have some experience and can add something to the uh, current understanding of the situation and also how we might move forward, I look forward to seeing you uh, at, in Litchfield, 7th to the 9th of October. Hello, I'm Adrian Dorber. I'm the Dean of Litchfield. And I represent a group of Christians in Litchfield who've been working together for the last two years to try and bring this conference off. We've called it holding Palestine in the light for the very good reason that the plight of Israel-Palestine has been going on for a long time ever since the foundation of the State of Israel in 1948. Um, the birth of that state was surrounded by hostility and controversy and the plight of the Palestinian people has been uh, part of the displacement of the coming of the State of Israel. The conflict between the peoples, between Israelis and Palestinians, has led to huge insecurity for the State of Israel, and it's led to great suffering and hardship for the Palestinians too. Uh, we also know that as Christians, uh, the Christian church in the Holy Land has been greatly diminished because of this ongoing conflict, and many Christians have seen no future for themselves in Israel or Palestine and have emigrated. So there's a very real danger that Christian presence in the Holy Land might disappear altogether and that's a direct result of the conflict. It's also very sad that when people of great faith, people who trace their origins to Abraham, Christians, Muslims and Jews, are in dispute with one another, that's a scandal before the world. And what we want to do in this conference is understand some of the causes of the conflict, the deep held insecurities which are experienced by Israelis and by Palestinians, uh, the great suffering that's been caused to all people of that region, and to try and look at the signs that might make for peace and some of the hopeful initiatives that might emerge. We're conscious that this is a sensitive and very complex issue, but it's a great invitation to come and dialogue. And however imperfect our dialoguing might be at this conference, we hope it's a start uh, to help opinion within the UK become more and more aware of this long historical tragedy.